the vixen and the rolling pin. Out walking one day, a vixen found a rolling pin in the middle of the path. The vixen picked up the rolling pin and went on her way. She came to a village and knocked at the first house. Who's there? I'm little sister Vixen. Let me in to stay the night. Oh, my dear Vixen, we've no room for you in here. I won't take up much room. I'll lie upon your little bench. My tail will hang below. My rolling pin beneath your stove, I shall safely stow. The woman let the Vixen in. And so she lay upon the bench, her tail it hung below. Her rolling pin beneath the stove, she did safely stow. Just then, she thought up a cunning plan of how to deceive her hosts. <laughs> Early in the morning, the vixen got up. She cast her rolling pin into the stove and then asked, Where, oh where, is my rolling pin? It's gone missing in your house. Give me your little chicken to replace it. Nothing could be done. The husband gave her their little chicken to replace the rolling pin. If he hadn't given her the chicken, the vixen would have told everyone how they'd hmm. stolen the rolling pin from her. And so, the vixen received a chicken for her rolling pin. That evening, the redhead knocked at another house. Who's there? I'm little sister Vixen. Let me in to stay the night. We've no room for you in here. I won't take up much room. I'll lie upon your little bench. My tail will hang below. My chicken here beneath your stove. I shall safely stow. They let her in. The Vixen lay upon the bench. Her tail it hung below. Her chicken there beneath the stove, she did safely stow. Again, the vixen thought up a cunning plan of how to fool her hosts. Early in the morning, she ever so quietly got up and ate the whole chicken. And then she said to her hosts, Where, oh where, has my chicken gone? You'll have to give me your goose to replace it. They looked and looked for the chicken, but couldn't find it anywhere. There was nothing to be done. The husband had to give her the goose for the chicken. The vixen took the goose. That evening, she again came to the village and knocked at the gates of yet another house. Hello, let me in to stay the night. We've no room for you in here. I won't take up much room. I'll lie upon your little bench. Tail will hang below. My little goose beneath your stove, I shall safely stow. They let her in to stay the night. And again she thought up a cunning plan. Just as dawn had broken, the vixen ate the goose hid the feathers, and then said, Where, oh where, has my little goose gone? Return me my goose, or give me your little girl to replace it. It pained the parents to give their little girl away. They said to the vixen, Go wait outside the gate, and we'll say our farewells to our daughter. The vixen went outside the gate, while the husband and wife took their <laughs> dog and put it in a sack instead of their daughter. They gave the sack to the vixen and said, But, vixen, don't you undo the sack right now, as our little girl will run away. Go a little way into the forest and undo it there. So the vixen took the sack, walked into the forest and deep into a dense thicket. She undid the sack, and out jumped the dog, and how it growled! The vixen took fright, left the bag, and ran. 
She ran and ran from the dog until she reached her den under the stump of a tree. Hidden there, she thought to herself, While I was a-running, my eyes were a-looking, my ears were a-listening, but my tail kept getting caught on the bushes and stopped me from escaping. Here, doggy, eat a fox's tail. The vixen stuck her tail up and out from her den, but the dog bit hold of it and pulled the vixen out. And that was the end of the cunning vixen. Our tales now ended, our stories through. To those who listened, well done you.